welcome back to the channel it's me again Sophia's mum um Sophia's at school but I just wanted to come on quickly and explain a bit of today's video so tonight we are going out um with Maddie and Sophia after school we're gonna box up tag up go out for a dressage lesson tonight um I'm hoping it'll go well for the past two days we have had literal torrential rain um, so we've not really done much with the ponies and anybody that knows Welsh ponies that aren't on lead rein knows they can be a handful um, when they've not been wet for a couple of days. So I am going to go to the yard now. I'm going to muck out, do all the jobs because at five o'clock at night I will not want to come back and do any jobs. And it, plus it's getting darker later now and I, yeah, and cold at night. I don't know whether anybody else is the same. The daytime is quite mild still, but by evening it is so cold. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I've just finished work, so I'm just gonna have a quick bite to eat now. Then I'm gonna go muck out. I need to clean Sophia's tack because last time Sophia rode a couple of days ago, Maddie did also roll in her tack. And it was one of the moments where it's like, just put it away. I will clean it when I've got time. And um, usual, I've left everything till last minute because you know, who doesn't? Um, so yeah, I will see you guys at the yard. Um, I'm gonna pack the horse box. I'm just gonna prep everything. So when I pick Sophia up, she's just gotta get changed. We just gotta load the pony and go because anybody that's out like is a mum like me, it is stressful. Children, horses, it's stressful. <laughs> it is. So I like to prep everything so it's less stressful as possible. Just eating a pot noodle. <laughs> Not the healthiest of choices, but you know, they're ready and four minutes so perfect so i'm here now at the yard i'm just gonna muck out i've got four stables to muck out and then i'm gonna get the tack out clean that and then pack it in the lorry so mucked out too just gonna do the other thing now i'm just walking up the poo not that you can see me but Worst job ever, emptying a muck cart. So I'm all mucked out. I'm now just going to sweep. And then I think I'm gonna clean the tack first, pack the lorry, and then maybe last thing I'll do is just give her like a 15, 10 minute lunch. Such weird weather again today, like, so mild, but a bit wet again. I'm hoping it stays dry, but there's some black clouds coming. I mean, where we're going, there is an indoor school as well. So I suppose we won't be completely stuck, but you know, tacking up and things like that in the rain and getting on and <sighs> we're not fair weather riders, but heathen damn rain. Just have you questioning. This is a hobby. This is a hobby. This is a hobby. <laughs> it's not a chore. Um, yeah. I'm also curious, so a lot of people I know, they um, give their horses time off through the winter, um, you know, a little break. Mainly people that go out showing every weekend, you know, pony club, competing. Um, last year we did give one a holiday over the winter. I mean, Star, she's four. She'll actually be five in April, so way over four now. Um, last winter she had a break over well over the winter and um she came back and she was so much more mature so much more willing um i mean i'm tempted again maybe just do light work with her through this winter with her still being baby um she has got a set of shoes on now so she's been doing lots of hacking which has helped you know desensitized her things like that because <laughs> She can be a bit spooky, but you know, for a four-year-old pony to go out by herself with a seven-year-old child on, round the roads with tractors, machinery, everything, she does really well, to be honest. Um, we couldn't really ask for better, could we? Um, I mean, most of our ponies, they all go out on the road and they are 100%. We don't really have any off-road riding where we are. Everything is traffic, road, blah, blah, blah. Um, we are really lucky that all of our ponies do tolerate traffic and you know things that are going on um 
this winter we're hoping to get out a bit more now the horse box is fixed maybe do some indoor dressage things like that um i'm hoping tonight's dressage lesson will spur her on to actually want to learn a few more dressage tests um but you know she's seven she gets in there and your mind goes blank i mean me i'm you know late 20s and same thing happens to me i get in there i'm trying to remember it and your mind goes blank so i can't really blame her i suppose <laughs> um you know and keeping straight and corners and right left right blah 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 she she's no good at left and right bless her maybe i should put like a bracelet on or right l and r on her gloves or something <laughs> might help um i mean you should see me when i'm driving it's this way or that way because someone tells me left i go right someone tells me right i go left it's just maybe it runs in the family <laughs> maybe it's just us that are crazy um but yeah i'm gonna finish up sweeping now then get the tack out and start cleaning why do we always get the good jobs adults always get the good jobs the kids get to sit on have fun i mean that's what it's all about though i mean nowadays i do enjoy watching sophia ride more than myself so you know always rooting for your kids and all that um i get so much more enjoyment out of even running after running after her running lead race. so i've just cleaned the tack i'm gonna go put it in the horse box now i just need to get her hat body protector gloves and what else do i need to get a wick so i actually sorted the lorry out the other day got treats there this is a little bit mucky mind you <laughs> um showing stuff showing stuff a backup grooming kit more showing stuff um i just need to pop a hay net up actually um i just need to check yep the shavings are down ready to go I will just go and grab the tack. So I have just popped her hat, saddle, bridle. I've gone with mink because she wants to wear a new base layer that I brought her, but we don't actually have the saddle pad to match it yet. So I've gone with mink because it's very versatile, isn't it? Um, body protector. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, gloves are in there. Body protector. Two whips. Just got to pop a hay net up now. So I've just got back in the car. Um, I've decided not to lunge actually, just because I thought, what's the point in dragging her out now at two o'clock? To then put her back in the field, to then bring her back out again. So I'm just going to give her a, you know, a ten minute lunge before, maybe fifteen minutes, <laughs> um, before she goes on the horse box. We'll have time. So, um, yeah, I thought if I do that later rather than now it's it just saves a little bit of flapping about really um i'm gonna go get the kids nip home first then get the kids get sophia get dressed and then we'll head back down so hi guys, hi guys. Hi. right we're gonna go home get dressed now hi. we both need to get changed and then we need to go to the yard but the clouds are very black aren't they hi. i'm praying it's gonna stay dry did you have a good day at school yeah Beans. So guys, we are at the yard. So all we need to do is get the pony in, I think. Yeah, I was gonna lunge, but it started to rain, so I don't think we need to lunge, do we? Yeah, but it's a sand school. She likes to roll in sand. <laughs> Very true. How about we lunge before it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go got the little horses a treat these were on offer in the tack shop weren't they and your new base layer and there's the woman of the hour she's spotted us and she's off well done let's take the treats will that turn around oh she's thinking about it right let's put the rest of the stuff in the lorry i just thought the sooner we get there it doesn't matter then we can do whatever can't we Great. but because it's like school traffic we don't want to be sat in traffic really we might as well just set off might we yeah and yep. i do have a new new what new jacket yeah yep. you have better clothes than i do yeah don't you oh, i can't get in the lorry <laughs> how was school anyway you won a certificate didn't you Oh my goodness. Strong. Um, strong one. <laughs> right, let's undo the horse box, yeah? Right, I'll put your hay net up, look. Yeah, I just need to get... It's raining bad. 
So, if Maddie rolls, I'm going to roll in sand. sand. <laughs> <laughs> and get my new bed. Oh, the heavens have opened. It's had all day to rain and it chooses to that now. Yeah. It's okay though, because they have got indoors, so hopefully. I've tried hay before and it's disgusting. Don't try it. Try it. <laughs> Do you to try it. <laughs> well, you've definitely tried it now. I've tried it twice in the star stable. <laughs> right, should we get Maddie in because it's starting to really rain? Yeah. Yeah? And I don't want, because you've had to tail yesterday, not to want to get it dirty. No, we don't. Oh, we need a head Hello, guys. We're just leaving, aren't we? <gasps> One excited pony. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So, guys, we have just got here. And if you could see, the arena is right there. But we are going to go in the indoor thing. Hopefully. Hopefully. We're just giving it for a wee, aren't we? Yeah. Kind of desperate. So here is Sophia, she has just got on, we didn't actually manage to video any of the tacking up getting on um, because the heavens opened, um, we decided to go on the indoor because obviously heavens opened, this is Sophia getting to know Stephen, you know while warming him up, she's never had a lesson with him before so um, they were just chatting about you know what she likes to do, how old the pony is, how old she is um maddie was okay it, it was quite windy and spooky in there but she she took it in her stride um she was actually quite cheeky <laughs> a little shake there um and slightly further on she does have a little rear um maddie can be quite nappy so this is something we're definitely trying to work on just trying to keep her you know out you know round the edges not pulling in um, so yeah. So, as you can see, she's been a little bit of a cheeky Welsh here. She decides to do some tiny little rears. So here, Sophia's going to start having a go at some canter. Um, you will see in a smart moment. Oh, there it is, a book. Um, she is a typical Welsh, you know. She's a mare. She don't want to do so much. She pops a book in now and then. Nothing nasty. Just sort of, you know, ugh, get off me. Um, let me go in the field, sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, I think Sophia enjoyed this part of the lesson. Just, you know, learning to keep her hands down, heels down. And going right. forward in the canter. Sophia, I think one thing we can do as well is get, so your legs are so much better now than I'm doing too much. Never, ever, 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 ever again. Okay, so what we need to do is give you our hands a jump, okay? Can you just bring your pony to me a second? You know what's hard at the minute about Maddie? Because she's quite 
strong as my forehead, it makes fish and chip go really still, doesn't it? Yes, and that's hard to move fish and chip when your pony's pulling like a train. Good girl. So what, what we've got to do is show me how you can move your shoulders. Good girl, that, that's smart. That's it, because she's tending to slow down there mum and dad, isn't she? Yeah, and then she gets a bit quick around here, so that now about there, she's slow, get that quick on the And then we push down. Now keep it steady. And before it slows down, give her a little tap again. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Very natural seat on her. Sorry guys, Maddie didn't roll. That was a bonus and I loved it. So, we're going to head home now. Yeah, you're going to have McDonald's, aren't you? What a winner. Sorry guys. It's raining. Isn't it? Just started. Luckily we was in the indoor, wasn't we? Yeah. So we're going to go now. We're going to end the video here, aren't we? Yeah. And thanks for watching, hope you liked it and see you again soon. Bye! Bye.